Hello folks. Today I'd like to do a review of my Boxio toilet. I've had this particular compost toilet for six months and it's worked out very well for me. It first attracted me because of the price. You can pick up a Boxio for about 225 bucks as opposed to the seven to $1,200 a lot of the other composting toilets will cost you. And for me, that was a very attractive option. So when you raise the lid, you see that the toilet is divided with the urine diverter. So you have the urine going to the front and the uh, solid materials going to the back. And I currently have a stopper in mine because that helps to reduce any smells. But the stopper is easy to take out. The stopper is sold by Boxio also. You just pick up one of those from their website and that kind of seals off the urine container portion of the Boxio toilet. I also have the little container over here on the right hand side that holds my coconut core. And that's what I use to cover anything that goes into the solid waste portion of the toilet. Now let's uh, take the lid off and take a look at the inner. So when you take the top lid off, you can see on the inside there's a container in the front and that fits in well with the urine diverter. And there's a container in the back that I have a bag in, and that's where the solid material goes. Now the bag that I have is the, is the disposable bags that are sold by Boxio. You get them in a roll like this, and you just tear off one and use it each time. Now, if you live here in the States or something like that, it may not be worth ordering the bags from Boxio. It may just be better to go to your local five and dime store and pick up a roll of bags and they work just as well. These particular bags are biodegradable, so that is somewhat helpful. It helps to protect the environment. Now, like I say, for cover material, I usually use the coconut core or coconut core, and I'll link that down below here if you'd like to take a look at it. Now, Boxio does sell a cover material that's known as hemp, and in all honesty, I haven't tried it, but from what I've heard, it works just as well as the coconut core. But again, you have to get that from Germany. Okay, so when you use the composting toilet, the poo container in the back is easy enough to dispose of. You just take that bag out and replace the bag and then place that bag, either the contents into a compost pile or what most people do in all honesty is just throw it in the trash. The front container is your wee container and that also you can just take out. It does have a cap that you can replace that has a solid cap, not the hole in the top. And that way you can uh, go into any bathroom or type of facility like that and dump it and then wash it out and bring it back. You can see that that cap that is in here does have a hole in it and that matches quite well with the hole that's in the urine diverter top. And so it's pretty much smell proof. Now on my particular toilet I have installed a blower device to pull the air out and, and discharge it up this vent pipe that is in my casita. And so that vents to the outside. And that's not an option that is offered by Boxio. I picked up this particular device off of Etsy from a company that is selling it as an accessory. And I'll show you here in the video how I installed this. So I have this little ring that goes to the hose 
and I found an appropriate place for it to go. I drilled a pilot hole just to mark the place. Now I'm going to use a hole saw to drill the hole that I need for the Because this is very soft plastic, you kind of go easy on it, or else uh, you kind of make a mess of it. So I just press very lightly. Now I've got a hole. And now I'm going to need to drill four little holes to anchor this in here with. Now I need to get me four screws and four nuts and anchor that down. Probably should put the screen on the inside of this to keep any bugs from going in and out. Although I don't think that's going to be a problem, but uh, might as well make that part of the install. these two screws to anchor down the toilet because it's had a tendency to kind of move around. Now, I do have the brackets down here on the side but even with the brackets with all of the bouncing around of the casilla it's better to go ahead and anchor it down because I don't need this thing to move. Okay I do have the little boxio bags and they work really good and I use those in the in the poo container and then the wee container up front. I don't have to use too often as a guy because I use a detergent bottle most of the time. But uh, you can see the hose over here inlet on the side and that will help to pull any smells out and to keep things nice and dry. You can see the lid fits on there well. There's no problem there. I did get a couple of questions from people asking if this toilet is sturdy. And it is, because when you sit on it, you're sitting on not only the lid, but also the side of the box. And of course, that's especially sturdy. I've never had any flexing or anything like that that I've experienced with the toilet. I like to keep the stopper in the front and that helps to contain any smells to the inside of the toilet. It's easy enough to reach down and grab that, pull it out if you need to. Now let's continue on with our mounting of the vent hose. So that's our review of the Boxio toilet after six months of use. In my opinion, it's a very good option. I've been using it whenever it's been needed here in the Casita. And like everyone else, I tend to use a toilet at least a couple times a day. I've been very pleased with it and I have no complaints at all about the Boxio toilet. As I said in the beginning, the price really fit my budget much better than the $700 to $1,200 toilets that are on the market. And for my use, I'm quite pleased. 
So if you would, please leave us that thumbs up icon or like a roo as I like to call it. If you haven't subscribed yet, you might want to subscribe. We have a lot more videos about living off grid, traveling, uh, living in a casita and so on coming up in the very near, near future. And I thank you so much for joining us and I look forward to seeing you again here on Moose Villa Off Grid very soon. Thank you so much.